And then after we stopped the run, then I, I felt very confident that we could be able to affect the quarterback. Yeah, what kind of runner do you see in a guy like Gerald Ford? And obviously, they've, they've got new signings as well. I mean, I don't, I don't think that the, um, you know, he's a little more faster, I, I would say. Uh, I don't think he's more as explosive and powerful as Chubb. But, you know, their offensive linemen do a good job, you know, with the, on their double teams or whatever it may be. So I don't think it don't really matter who back there. Um, you know, they trust their offensive linemen. Um, but at the end of the day, it's about how we're going to be able to uh, hold up against their offensive linemen, against the run game. We're going to have to be more physical than them up front, and um, that's where it's going to start at. But other than that, I think, like I said, I don't think nothing really much is going to change up front, um, especially in the run game, because everyone on the offensive linemen healthy. So. First real dangerous running quarterback that you guys have. How did things change in terms of you kind of, you guys have talked in years past about kind of corralling the guys. I wouldn't just say he's so dangerous running the ball. You know, he he give us a lot of opportunity. Um, you know, when it come down to it, we have to make sure our rush lanes um, good. We got to make sure that we coordinate. But at the end of the day, um, his own film and everyone sees that. You know, he gives us the opportunity to get the ball. You know, when he running with the ball, when he escape trying to escape the pocket. You know, the ball is out from his body, he's trying to do the stiff arm or whatever it may be. And you know, we sit it on film and we getting coached that. So you know, when we um, affecting him and trying to affect them, you know. We have to be able to go for the ball. You know, that's one thing we talk about here, trying to create them turnovers. And um, I don't think nobody uh, on the field fumbling the ball more than the quarterback. So, um, you know, it's a great week. If we could force him out the pocket or whatever it may be, we could force him to uh, make some bad decision with the ball. You know, that's all go. Does Deshaun look like the same quarterback he was a couple of years ago, or has anything changed about I, I mean, I don't get caught up into all that. You know, I just watch the film, and, you know, this is what we have to stop. You know, um, I just know by playing him in the past, you know, he – when we get to him, we have to make sure we get him down because, you know, we see him breaking tackle, we break, we breaking sacks, breaking out of sacks. You know, he, he's a dynamic player, um, but at the end of the day, like I said, he, he gives us a lot of opportunities to go at the ball, um, you know, when he in the pocket or trying to escape because he believes in his stiff arm. You know, he's a strong quarterback, so why not? Um, but, but, you know, I, I still think he won the um, – I still think he's a good quarterback and that we got a good um, task at our hand this weekend. How important maybe for this offense, for this team, maybe to get into a little bit of a groove, finding that consistently, consistency moving forward. Yeah, with any team, you just want to get a rhythm going. Uh, we got a we had a nice win le last week and had some good plays on offense, and you just want to just keep going with that. Made a big play on Sunday. You know, made a big play, DeAndre. It seems like all, everybody's contributing in some way. How do you like your group as a whole? How good is it to make a play when your numbers go? Man, we love it. I mean, I feel like that's something we preach in our receiver room, especially we. we Break down on playmakers, and that's what we're out there to do. And then the ball's thrown our way, we try to make plays. What is kind of stressed week in and week out in the receiving room? You said, sorry, what? What, what's kind of stressed week in and week out as you guys go to? Like I said, making plays. When the ball's thrown to us, when our numbers called, just going out there and making that play because, I mean, those big plays, that definitely helps this team get going. It's, it's something that changes the momentum and can change the game. Yeah, what was, what was the feeling, I guess, from Traylon's 7 yard pass, your 4 9 pass? How much? You kind of touched on it, but how much does that provide a big spark and how much do you think that did that on Sunday? Uh, I think it provides a huge spark. I mean, especially with Traylon's pass, we, we were a little stagnant as offense before that, and then he got us going. And then my pass at the end just helped us get in position to, to be in a position to win the game. So that's that's all we're trying to do is just help this team win at the end of the day. you feel like you're a, a kind of a, a speed demon, or what, what's, your, what's your speed now <laughs> compared to what it used to be? I, I think I'm still as fast as I was coming into the league. I, I don't think I lost any speed. I, I, my legs feel young. Uh, they might always they always like to pick on me, make fun of how old I am, but I don't feel old at all. I feel good. I feel fast. What was your speed coming into the league? As far as what you talk about, my 40? Yeah. I think I only ran a 4 or 5, but on that field, I, I run, and it, and it shows. Out and uh, Shane just praised your versatility outside. Like, what's kind of the mindset when you get thrown in and it's like, all right, I got to do this every play and I got to keep up the standard? Yeah, I think just taking one play at a time. You know, I feel like I played all right, but there's, there's definitely like four or five plays that I wish I had back. Um, but really, like, I think just walking away from that game, I learned a lot. You know, that was my first full game at safety that wasn't in a preseason. And I feel like that, you know, having an opportunity like that to really get that first one under my belt um, is going to help me down the road. And, and, yeah, a lot to learn from. Is there a challenge when you play so many different roles and different sub packages from week to week having such a vastly yeah. different role? Yeah, there is because you have to know a lot, you know what I mean? And I think, um, you know, football is a pretty simple game. Uh, and I try and keep it simple, but when you have to know a lot of positions, you have to kind of uh, expand your bandwidth a little bit. So I just try to find ways to simplify everything and and um, and study effectively. You know what I mean? Like I'm 
feel like this week I'm going to start doing more note cards and stuff like I'm back at school. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um, it's been good. I feel like, you know, I think if you step back and look at my career, it's kind of been funny. Like, you know, ended up starting my, my by the end of my rookie year and then all last year dealing with the injury. Now I kind of come back and uh, I'm playing a new position. You know what I mean? At times it's like I feel like at times it's like a new position. Sometimes I feel like a rookie at safety. You know what I mean? That's just the reality of it, but my rookie year, I got better every game. So that's that's kind of how I'm going to approach that position, you know what I mean? And then in terms of nickel and, and dime and all that stuff, I, I feel comfortable there. Yeah. Cover longer, you know what I mean? And make sure that, you know, we have someone accounted for, accounting for him when he does scramble, you know what I mean? So we have a great rush, you know, so we got, it's in, in, in rush and coverage go together. So, yeah. You guys have played. You guys got some new pieces in the defense and some mm -hmm. guys have been there for a while. What's kind of the chemistry like early and how you kind of like this group as a whole? I'm loving it so far, man. Even even back in OTAs, just meet, you know, in the meeting rooms and all that stuff, I feel like we're pretty tight-knit. You guys have played pretty well through the first two weeks, I think you would say, but eliminating the X plays. Yeah. Is that kind of the big focus right now that if yeah. you can do that, like look out? No question. I think, you know, it, all, it comes down to like four four plays out of you know, 70 or whatever, you know what I mean? So you got to be on your P's and Q's every every uh, every play. You know, they get paid too. You know, their offense coordinator is smart. Their quarterback is smart. We got to be um, anticipating every, every play and not taking anything for granted. From a lot of quarterbacks is he can – he can make the, the off-track plays, like scrambling, looking downfield. He's got a heck of a stiff arm. I mean, he's still still playing at a high level. I don't know what the stats say. I'm just telling you what the film says. Jeff may have said more than you like. He said the ball's available there when he runs, and he expects to, to for you guys to go get it. Yeah, if it is available, we go get it. That's on the quarterback, the running back, the wide receivers, whoever's carrying the football. If they're loose with it, then – then we go get it, you know. I mean, that's not just a, a him thing. That's it, whenever we play, we're, we're looking for that to try to get the ball off guys. What's Pecco done over the first couple of weeks of the season and maybe earned himself a spot? Well, you know what? He His attention to detail is um, is – at a high level, and I told the guys the other day in the meeting room before we moved him up, I said he's a player that that um, he's not the biggest. I told him, no offense, you're not the biggest, not the fastest, not the strongest. You don't have the longest arms. You don't have any of that, but his attention to detail is at a high level, and he plays hard. So there, I've been around guys in this league that, that – aren't necessarily the most talented, but they, they play hard and they do exactly what they're coached to do. And he's kind of one of those guys. Excited about with him, he's just, his hunger stays within him. And, uh, you know, with a rookie coming in and being in a role he's in, asking, you know, things uh, throughout like the third down portion of it, the first and second down portion of it, and giving him different responsibilities, he's handled it like a pro. And, um, you know, and he keeps that positive attitude I'm sure everybody's heard about. He's, he's always got a smile on his face. And he just, he's a different element to our offense that we appreciate. First time you're going through this with Derek, obviously, uh, you know, and, and he, him and Taj are kind of in a uh, in a system. It seems like how do how do you manage those two as far as um, how they handle snaps, reps, and how's that work in your mind? Yeah, it's it's you know we've tried to create packages for both those guys. You know you know some guys are, are different body types, different running styles. So having different mixers for each guy and uh, involve that in the passing game, make it all look the same as well. And you know, and have them both on the field. You know, how many times can we do that a game and kind of put the defense in a bind? So, you know, those guys are, are basically really cool elements that you can mess with in the run game and the pass game. And just uh, we ask a lot of those guys, both those guys, but it's not about, you know, who's got how many carries. It's more so how do they play off each other. And how's, what's Julius, I guess what's the room like as a whole? It seems like those guys – uh, Derek and Taj, they have a lot of fun with each other. They always mention Julius, too. How's that group? It, it's, it's one of the better rooms I've been around as far as just the character, the professionalism, just the excitement to be together, the excitement to play football. It's, it's, uh, it's a special – it's really a special room, and I'm not just saying that to say that. The, those guys really care about each other, and it's a really good, tight-knit group that they're, uh, they're just uh, eager to learn and eager to know each other, and, and that's the great thing about it is it, it 
goes through the locker room too. And I, you know, they got to be leaders also within their their room. But just you know, spacing out to the offense and defense, reaching out to other positions, that's a big thing for them too. But they got the um, the character to do that. Not everybody has that. So all three of those guys are, are great to have.